Welcome to the Cubmaster Minute for June 15th, 2020. In this episode, we'll cover important pack updates for this month. Hello everyone, Mr. Maloney here with the Cubmaster Minute, a weekly-ish audio-video series presented by PAC 457 in Zelianople, Pennsylvania, where we'll cover the latest information about the PAC and answer frequently asked questions from new members and scouting veterans alike. Head to podcast.cubscoutpac457.org to subscribe and access the audio, video, and full text transcripts of every episode. In today's episode, we'll cover important PAC information for June 2020, including advancement reminders, an update on in-person meetings, the at-home summer camp options, and upcoming PAC events for June, July, and August. Check the show notes below to find links to any content that we discuss in our episode, as well as time codes you can use to jump to specific topics. There's a lot of content to cover, so let's jump in. First, advancement reminders. As I mentioned in our last episode and in our May 2020 PAC meeting, scouts can start working on their next rank as of June 1st. That means scouts in Den 6 who were working on their Lion rank earlier this year can now start working towards their Tiger. Den 1, our Tigers can start working towards their Wolf. Den 2 can work on their Bear. Den 3, their Weebelo, and Den 4, their Arrow of Light. All of our dens have been advanced in Scoutbook, so you will now see your scouts progress towards their next rank. And it also means that you should make sure you check for your scouts den number instead of their rank when looking for them in Scoutbook. If your scout hasn't finished the requirements of the rank they were working on earlier this year, they have until July 31st to complete those requirements. Contact your den leader or me If you aren't sure if your scout has earned their rank, if you need help figuring out what they need to complete, or if you need to mark specific requirements as completed in Scoutbook, you can find a link below to a video explaining how to mark requirements as completed in Scoutbook. Now, an update on in-person meetings. Earlier this month, the Moraine Trails Council updated their guidance regarding in-person meetings. Basically, we are permitted to hold limited in-person meetings as long as the meeting is held outside, all CDC, state, and local guidance is followed, and as long as all three counties served by the council, that's Armstrong, Butler, and Lawrence counties, are in the state's green reopening phase. If one or more of these counties go to a yellow or red phase, then all in-person meetings must be canceled, postponed, or held virtually. Given this guidance, the PAC leadership has implemented the following rules. First and foremost, we recognize that some of our scouts and their families may not be willing or able to participate in in in-person meetings. We understand that this is a difficult decision and we will include your scout by providing a virtual meeting option as long as necessary and feasible. Now our June and July PAC meetings will remain virtual. We have a large PAC and we want to make sure that uh, we keep everyone safe. We hope to kick off our in-person PAC meetings with a blue and gold banquet in August. More on that later. Den leaders can choose to hold in-person DEN meetings as long as they follow the PAC's pandemic response guidelines, which include, but are not limited to, holding meetings outdoors with limited shared supplies, assuming restroom facilities will not be available, enforcing physical distancing among attendees from separate households, and encouraging the use of face masks in accordance with CDC and state guidelines. Our leaders will also take attendance at all in-person events to aid in contact tracing should the need arise. Now we know these requirements uh, are difficult for our scouts, so we're asking that all our leaders and parents 
help our scouts to understand how following these rules will help us to do our duty to our country and our community, as well as demonstrate how we as scouts are trustworthy, helpful, courteous, kind, obedient, and clean. Now this guidance is constantly changing, so we've created a page on our PAC website to quickly share the latest information. All of our leaders and families should visit COVID, C-O-V-I-D, dot CubScoutPAC457.org before each in-person meeting for the latest information. Now an update on at-home summer camp options. In May, the council decided to cancel all of its in-person summer programs, including Cub Scout Day Camp and Resident Camp. Our members who prepaid for their registration on the PAC website should have already received a check with a full refund. If you've not received this check, please contact Mr. Groby. But all hope is not lost. This past Friday, the council officially launched its I Did My Best in Quarantine Summer Camp in a Box. This is an awesome program that has an online and hands-on activities that your scout can complete in their free time at home. There's two options for participating. The base package, which costs $50, includes a drawstring backpack, a water bottle, compass, neckerchief, the six essentials, commemorative patch, boat raft and craft supplies, and access to exclusive instructional videos. Now for an additional $20, total of $70 for a scout, your scout can also get a rank specific add-on kit that includes age appropriate activities that will help your scout in working towards their next rank. Parents who are interested should sign their scouts up on the council website by June 29th. You do not need to sign up with the pack. The link to register is in the show notes below. If you earned summer camp credit through this year's popcorn sale and would like to apply the credit to this program, you should first purchase the summer camp package you'd like to participate in from the council website and pay for it yourself. Then provide a copy of your receipt to Mr. Groby who will issue you a check up to the value of your credit. Additionally, please contact me, your den leader, or Mr. Groby if you're experiencing any kind of financial hardship but would still like your scout to participate in this program. We'll work with you to find a way to make sure your scout uh, can join. Now an update on recruiting and membership renewal. We'll be kicking off our annual membership drive in the next couple of weeks, and we need your help. We'd like to make a creative recruiting video featuring our scouts making social distanced s'mores. Participation is optional as the video will be featured publicly on our PAC website and in our social media presence on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. If you're interested in participating, please contact me and I'll provide you with additional information on what and how to film your segment. We'd like to receive the videos in the next couple of weeks so that we can launch our program in late June or early July. Speaking of early July, our annual membership renewal process will be kicking off right after 4th of July. This will be a much more streamlined process than last year and we'll be sharing more information on what's changing uh, when it kicks off. Upcoming PAC events for June, July, and August. Finally, I'd like to update you all on our plans for June, July, and August. Our June PAC meeting is next Saturday, June 20th. Parents should check their email on Friday night or Saturday morning for a special message from the PAC to kick off the day's events. Scouts will be invited to complete some rank-specific activities during the day that'll get them outside and active and also start them working on some of their uh, requirements for their next rank. One of the activities that all of our ranks can work on is creating a solar oven capable of cooking s'mores. The pack has purchased the supplies you need for this activity, and you can pick them up from Mrs. Cox in the upper loop of Zeely Park 
this Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. Please contact Mrs. Cox if you cannot pick up the supplies during that time, but would still like to participate. Completing these activities is uh, purely optional, but we'll wrap everything up with a virtual campfire in the evening where our scouts can share their accomplishments from the day, maybe put on a skit or play some campfire games and more. Now, our July pack meeting will be a geocaching adventure that our scouting families can complete on their own. We'll start with a short pack meeting during the week to uh, teach you how to do geocaching. Then families can complete the geocaching course in their own time. We'll reconvene a couple of days later to see uh, who is able to complete the geocaching course in the fastest time. We'll be confirming a time soon and we'll share that information via Scoutbook. Finally, we hope to have our first in-person pack meeting on August 22nd when we'll have an outdoor blue and gold banquet. This event is where we recognize our scouts for all their accomplishments from the year. We award them with their new ranks and we have our second annual neckerchief exchange. Look for the save the date information from Scoutbook coming soon. That's it for the June 2020 pack update and this episode of the Cubmaster Minute. Tune in next week when we answer the question, what do those knots on some uh, leader's shirts mean? We'll see you then.